This video is only education purpose. Today, I will tell you about John the Ripper. And now, what is John the Ripper? And who developed John the Ripper? Supporting formats in John the Ripper. Example of common cracking. Single cracking. Word list cracking. MD5 cracking. SHA-1 cracking. MD4 cracking. SHA-256 cracking. SHA-512 cracking. Zip file cracking. RAR file cracking. And viewing, John the Ripper all log files. Now start. What is John the Ripper? John the Ripper is a popular password cracking tool. Used to find weak passwords by systematically guessing and testing different combinations. Who developed John the Ripper? John the Ripper was developed by Alexander Pesliak, also known as Solar Designer, in the late 1990s. Supporting formats in John the Ripper. Let's move on Kali Machine. We have come to our Kali Machine. Now, let's open the terminal. Now, let's check its supporting formats. It cracks so many formats. Now we crack the hash. Now let's go to the browser. Now, let's search the hash crater. We can take anyone from all the hashes. Then we take the MD5. Now, go to the terminal. Save it in the TXT file. Now we will tell the format by taking John command and give the name of the file. So he cracked it and gave it to us. Now let's try next hash. This time we will take hash 2. Now we will save it in text file. Now we will check the format of hash2. Then, we are not getting its format. Now if we try to grep it. Now, we will see md2 format. Now we will tell the format by giving John's command. And give the name of the file. And now it has cracked its hash and given it to us. Now let us try to crack the second hash. Now take SHA-512. Then save it in the file. Now, check its format. We got the format of SHA-512. Now we will tell the format by running John's command. and it will crack it too. Now, we take a little hard hash. This time we take Whirlpool. Now, first we check its format. It is available or not. Otherwise, its format is available. Now, we will save this hash in the file. Now we will tell the format. 
by giving John's command and give the name of the file. And he cracked it too. Now, we will create a file from the mouse pad. We will save it by writing text. Now, we are getting it shown on the desktop. Now, we will protect it by putting a password in the zip file. Now, we will delete the text file and then open the zip file and see, then it will ask for the password. So now we do not know its password. So, we will crack its password with John the Ripper, zip to John, and then the name of the zip file, then the hash that will come out. We will save it in a file. Now, we will cat and see whether the hash is saved or not. Then now, we will write the command of John and give the word list path and then give the name of the hash file, which is saved. And it cracked us. Now, we will copy this password. Now, we will open the zip file and paste it where it is asking for password. Now we are able to read what is written in it. Now, we create a file again with mousepad. Now, we write some text in it and save it. Now we cat and see this file. Then we can see the text now. Now, we protect it from our file. If we try ls, then we will see the RAR file. Now, we will go to the desktop and open the RAR file. Then, it will ask for a password, which we don't know. Now, we will crack the password from John the Ripper. RAR to John, the name of the RAR file, has to be saved as its hash, the name of that file. Now, we will check the file by cat whether the hash has come or not. Otherwise, the hash has come. Now we will write the command of John and will give the word list path and the name of the hash file and it has cracked the password. Now, we will copy this password. Now we will paste it in the RAR file where it was asking for this password. Now we are able to access this file. Now, let's check the logs of John the Ripper where they are created. Let's move on the terminal. We will type cat tilt sign slash dot john slash john dot pot. Now enter. Now we can see John the Ripper logs. So all friends if video is introducing, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe thank you.